everything all right? Sean has located a second power source. I've asked Rebecca to charter a flight for us. Where to? Brazil. To see that's working. Guess I'll try you back when I'm topside. on the stadium's upper level. I'll update you when I know more. Now to find a ticket. We don't have time to play nice. Steal someone else's. Bit of a dick move, don't you think? Well, I guess you could try and sneak past security instead. Preciso... Doesn't look like normal security. Because it isn't. Those are Abstergo agents. Cross is probably here too. You need to be careful. Seriously, what is the deal with stadiums and piss troughs? It's disgusting. And who thought they were a good idea? Troughs are time and cost efficient. I don't even see a stall in here. They should what if here. I have to take a dump? Yeah, please just mute the microphone if you do. Looks like I'm close. Shit! Another checkpoint. You're gonna have to find another way around. Security's too tight. Here. Wait, Desmond! Hide! Do something! Watch your back, they're on you. Olha, aconteceu, só isso. A gente não queria que acontecesse. Só aconteceu. Sinto muito. Ela é minha irmã, cara. Que bando de latinha. Almost there, Dan. She's just on the other side of the stadium. Other side? Trabalhando 80 horas por semana para tirar 100 pratas, viu, Lila? Agora temos que ficar aqui para ser desmutado por um glutamonte de termo.
Aquele cara tá maluco. Qual é o seu problema? We can get back to Connor whenever you're ready, Desmond. Unless you want to plug in the power source first. Up to you. we could be saved. We sought to face the sun's wrath and contain it. Four towers would be built to pull her fury into this place and dispel it. But even with all we knew, with all we had, it would take too long. A thousand years we could labor and still the work would not be done. The first tower was never completed. The project abandoned. We moved on. But while we labored on other endeavors, a few returned. They thought to automate the process. Metal might finish what flesh could not. If we could not meet the sun's cruel embrace, perhaps we might rebuke it. Already we could generate the fields to protect us in times of strife. But these were small and simple things. To replicate them on a scale the size of a world. We lack the energy to make it so. Half the world, they said then. It is better than none at all. We tried. Again, we failed. 
A quarter, they asked. Even this we could not do. A sixth, an eighth, a tenth, they cried. The answer was still the same. Perhaps in time a city might be spared. But it was time we did not have. So we moved on. find out. in its existence and only awaiting discovery? Or might it be changed? Here we learned the answer and thought that it might save us. They were used to command, to control, to own. But we soon discovered another use. When enough sat in thrall and were told to believe, their thoughts took on form. What was imagined became real. If a hundred minds could wish away a wall or create a tree, what might a thousand do? Ten thousand? More? Might we change the consensus and will the threat away? We resolved to send one into the sky where it might illuminate us all. Once placed, a sentence would be uttered. Make us safe. In this way, we would change the consensus. We would save the world. But it never came to be. We sent a dozen of them skyward, but there was no way to maintain control to direct the beam, to enthrall the world, to speak the words. Though this was strange and dangerous, what we tried next was worse. back to change the past but we could not find a way but forward we could look forward and so here we sought to see beyond ourselves and know what was to come first we watched to learn if our work would succeed but the answer was always the same so we moved on to other things but she remained, the one you call Minerva. In time, she too stopped looking, and instead began to speak. She called out across time, 
in the hopes that you might be saved. She hid messages where none might find them, save for you and those within this place. Fascinating. I'm tired of it. The cryptic warnings, the threats. Just tell us what you want! But they are. We saw the Nephilim there. We seemed like grasshoppers in our own eyes, and we looked the same to them. Imagine trying to explain all this to a two-year-old, to a grasshopper. When they said the will of the gods was unknowable, they meant it. Literally. I killed her, you know. I killed Lucy. It was the apple, son. It was Juno. I saw what she was. What would happen if I let her live? I could have stopped myself. I mean, there was a force there. But I didn't have to. I chose to. Desmond. Lucy was going to betray us and take the apple back to Abstergo. I saw the satellite launched. I saw them turn it on, and then... It failed. Whatever's on the other side of that door, it benefits Juno. We need to be careful. I'm telling you, there's something down here. Don't be daft. I don't know, maybe they were sleeping or something and we woke them. Some kind of cryogenics? Or hibernation? I mean, how do we know what the hell they were doing down here? They were working on a bunch of different solutions, but nothing worked. Just went from one to the next, and then... I don't know. They must have left at some point. After the end. I wonder what the world would be like if they'd succeeded. I'm more concerned about what it'll be like if we don't. Salvation. They found a way. Too late for them, but not for you. Sealed and protected. Though now it bars your way. Find the key. The past will tell.